everybody we are back for the summer with quilters vibe i'm going to be using my hot Kelly kit with style uh, this is my kit for may but i'm going to keep it all together and use it for june because i only got two two um videos or two projects done and i so want to make more i'm really enjoying these products and i want to dig into them and really kill quite a bit more of them so I'm just flipping through everything, um, deciding what I want to use. I'm going to start by using my two 6x6 paper pads. I have the 6x8 one as well, but I'm going to go with the 6x6. You saw the inspiration piece at the beginning of the video, so you know what our quilt looks like for this uh, month. And I'm going to follow it fairly standard. Um, I'm just going to take a... I'm going to punch a lot of squares. <laughs> so I have two... I have two different square punches and I'm using a different size from each of them. So the large square is a one and a half inch square. The small square is a one inch square. And again, these are my creative memories punches. Um, but if you really, really want them, I'd try eBay. So I looked at the inspiration piece and I knew it's like a big diamond and then two small ones. And I'm pretty much just going to mimic those that idea i'm not going to do it across the entire page i'm just going to make like three strips of those triangles i'm choosing um patterns that i feel coordinate with my photo so today's photo is a photo that my sister sent me of my adorable nephew he lives on a farm and he's a farm kid and this is a photo of him with um their horse and he's so cute uh so I decided that I was gonna go ahead and scrapbook this photo and I felt like the tones and colors in the photo would go well with uh, this collection. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna punch all of these squares and you can see me lining them up and I'm not gonna line them up straight. I'm just making sure that I only punch as many squares as I am actually going to need. So now I have all of my squares punched and I've decided I'm just gonna do this three rows. And now, I'm going to push these squares off to the side and I'm going to use my T-square ruler to go ahead and line up or draw myself some guidelines. So I'm kind of deciding where I want, I need that first line to start. I'm going to go ahead and hold my T-square ruler down nice and flush against the paper. I'm going to draw myself a little guideline and I'm going to do this for all three of those lines. I'm gonna grab my Distress Oxide ink, and now it's just a matter of ink and stick. I'm gonna alternate the lines a little bit so they're not all exactly the same. And I'm just gonna go ahead with all three of these rows. Draw the guideline, ink with my Oxide inker in Vintage Photo, and then stick. This is gonna give me some nice straight lines. Now, we fast forwarded quite a bit here for a very simple reason. I went off to the other side of my desk and I cut apart a cut apart sheet. You can see it there. I matted um, the pieces of the cut apart sheet and created kind of like a horizontal band with my photo, except I did it um, to the right of my desk. And so my video didn't capture it. <laughs> And so um, I, I just couldn't use that piece of footage. Um, but that's okay. We have, we have what we need here. So none of this is uh, stuck down yet, really. So you're going to see me kind of, usually you see me put it all in and then I stick it down off camera. Well, this time you get to see me stick it down on camera. How about that? And this isn't all my embellishments. So this is, I used pieces of the cut apart sheet and then I went through the die cut pack and I just grabbed die cut pieces that I thought matched my colors. I really am kind of going for this one type of color scheme where we have the blues and the golds and then the, the regular neutrals. And what this does is it's really pulling in the colors from my photo. I really took, um, I think the hardest part of this collection is um, if you don't have a photo that just kind of lends itself well to this collection, it could be a bit of a challenge to use. Um, so I have actually been going through all my photos recently with the point, 
put the idea in mind of finding my photos that uh, will complement this collection. Um, and interestingly enough, I, it's not super hard to do. It's not something that's very hard to do. If you're someone who prints at home, or if you're like me and you pit print from somewhere that you ship out like persnickety prints, you probably have a lot, months worth of photos that you can pull from. Um, you just want to pick ones that have, like this one, this nice kind of golden light is really good for a picture like this. You don't want a picture that's too white based. You don't want something that's real bright. Um, so uh, fall photo, that's why fall photos work really well for this, but it doesn't have to be a fall photo. Um, I have a couple of photos I took just this past uh, week when we went to the greenhouse to get some plants of my son that are will lend themselves quite well to this uh, kit, which is part of the reason that I've decided I'm going to use it, continue to use it um, for other projects and use it into June so I can kill a lot of it. Cause this is one of those, I have some collections that I just adored and I bought so, so much of them. Um, and I've actually separated those collections out from the rest of my collections in an effort to try to use some of them up. This is one, uh, Paige Evans Whimsical, um, Chamel's Sparkle City. There was another one. Um, Oh, Pink Paisley's Auburn Lane. So much of those collections that I would like to really kind of make a decent dent in. I've chosen one of those nice springtime extras that I put in the kit to lighten up and brighten up uh, this collection so that I could use it for different seasons. Uh, I've chosen this sunshine to put down and across the bottom. That yellow just worked so well. And there is little bits of pink, so I'm gonna use that hello as well. Uh, so I'm just sticking down these thickers. These thickers stuck fairly well. Um, the jury's still out on whether they're gonna stay or not. They stayed through photography. And I'm also picking, okay, so at some point, <laughs> in case you don't know this, I'm a dog mom. And I imagine at some point, one of my dogs, I might, well, and I could have dropped these on the floor too, but for whatever reason, there was this dog hair stuck in that thicker, in that sunshine, and I was like, ugh. Um, I keep cleaning my room because I keep finding dog hair in it. Um, but there's this thing in the Wild Whisper, a uh, new collection that says, like, dog hair is my new glitter. And I'm telling you what, I'm starting to feel like dog hair is a new glitter. I wonder if it's because it got hot. Maybe they're starting to shed a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to get that sunshine down and then I'm going to use this and kind of move it around. I know that I want the hello to be somewhere um, and I'm going to kind of play around a little bit to try to decide. And this is going to act as my title. And so I decide that I want it down a little bit. I thought about putting it up there. It kind of fit really nicely up there, but I want it to be somewhere that you can kind of go hello sunshine, right? And I felt like putting it up on that tag would be just too far away. Okay, so then I decided, well, we have those those thickers for my title. Let's see what else I can find on this sheet since I'm holding it and it's right here that I can use. And I find this flower that perfectly matches that beautiful yellow flower down by my photo. I said I'm gonna use that. And now I'm gonna work through the stickers. So I've kind of gone from, you know, the big ephemera. I've put that down um, and the big, the cut apart sheet. And now then I went through the thickers and got my title and got some medium, more medium sized things in. And now I'm gonna go through my stickers and get some small things. I'm just gonna tuck in little things that are the right colors um, and that I, I feel like really uh, complement my photograph and complement the page. A couple of last little touches to my layout are going to be some of these small Fray stickers. I'm going to use, I think I used two from the sticker sheet, which is one of the extras, which was one of the Maggie Holmes extras that I put into my kit. And then I'm also going to use one or two of these little black strips off of the thicker sheet, which I also think are really, really pretty. Um, and that just gives it a different, different, uh, so that the entire layout isn't all paper. And I, that's where I think we're going to stop. That's where I think we're going to, to be done with this one. I'm pretty sure I don't add anything extra. I think I'm looking to see if I add, want something extra, but I think I decide that I don't need it. Nope. Okay, so be sure to head over and check out Christy and Daisy and Alex's layouts. Uh, they're playing along with me today, I think, unless they're running late like me. Um, 
I will see you all again Sunday. I'm going to start something super fun in June. So take a peek at the How to Kill a Kit with Style video for Sunday because I'm going to do something. I'm going to use this kit, but then I'm also going to be doing something during June. That's going to be really fun. All right, guys. I'll see you all again. Bye.